Why is Kevin Love not wanted? Today we're talking about why nobody wants Kevin Love. So, all right, all right, all right. And I go, I'm in my car, I'm high as a kite, I'm listening to rock and roll, action! And there's the chick. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's amazing. Yo, what is going on gamers? Poontang Gaming here, back with some NBA talk, I guess, or whatever. Why does nobody want Kevin Love? Before we start this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below what your thoughts on why nobody wants Kevin Love. So let's hop on in on this. This man is a beast. He sacrifices numbers playing next to LeBron and Kyrie. Why does no one want to trade for him? He was literally a franchise player in Minnesota and obvious playing, obviously playing with a big three, and your numbers are going go down if you're going to be play with superstars. Why would teams like the Bulls or the Pacers not give up Paul George or Jimmy Butler when they got Zach Levine in return? So why does nobody want Kevin Love? But now, let's talk about it. Kevin Love, if I pull up his stats right now, Kevin Love back in the day for Minnesota was literally a beast. Kevin Love was a God-given player. Like everybody Back when they traded Andrew Wiggins, Anthony Bennett, and I think a picker, a couple picks or two, or whatever they gave up besides those two players, literally, if Anthony Bennett had just been at least maybe a solid role player, had done something to be like a top 10 player, just be a solid role player, he could have been actually a really good, like, it was a good offer what they gave up. He was a former first overall pick. But listen to this when he was in Minnesota, his first season, he averaged 11 points, second season 14. Then he had 20 points and 15 rebounds in the 2010 to 11 season where he was an all-star. Next season, 26 points and 13 rebounds. And when they say he couldn't play defense, this man had about a block a game, almost a block a game per uh, per season and a steal a game when he was on this team. Then in Minnesota's third season, he went a little bit down because he was hurt and only played in 18 games. He was still 14 and 18. And then his last season in Minnesota, he had 26 points and 12.5 rebounds. This man was a beast. And then his past three seasons, he's been 9 Point seven to 16 in his first season in Cleveland. 8.8 rebounds and 16 points. And then his pa this past season, he's had 11 rebounds and 19 points. And I just realized the last one, he actually had 9.9. .9. I just read that fucking wrong on the stat things. But either way, the reason why nobody wants Kevin Love is people don't want to gut their teams to trade for a star. We saw Boogie get less value than we thought. We saw Jimmy get less value than we thought. And we will see Paul George get a low value too. Everybody knows they can't compete with Golden State, so they're hanging on to their long-term assets. So it's like, it's not that like nobody wants him, but being willing to pay what he's worth, what the Cavs want, not really necessarily the same thing, is another matter. He's in an awkward position of being 28 already, a growing injury history of the past two seasons. Could be the most, like, the most nicest thing is I could say about Kevin Love is he's not the greatest on defense. So given the effort, if you look at the finals, the one they wanted, he's under contract for two more years, which is decent. That can come in. But unless your team is ready to compete right now and can work around his specific drawbacks, why do you want to give up significant assets for him? Sure, he puts put up great numbers in Minnesota and could likely do it again if he's on a team by himself. But is, is it worth noting that those teams never made the playoffs when he was on Minnesota, except I think once? For teams like the Pacers and Bulls, if they're trading away their franchise players, it's because they can't realistically compete on a timeline that fits with that player. Trading them away for a different high-end player of the similar age and contract situation makes no sense. It'll just keep them mediocre for longer and delay the actual rebuild for no net gain. The best home for love is for a team with one star in the vicinity of their prime, or maybe two such stars that are both good on defense, or else an overall decent roster with no stars, someone like Utah, Memphis, OKC, or Charlotte would be good fits in theory, maybe Houston, Boston, Detroit, Miami, or Washington. The issue with almost all of these teams is that nobody is is that they don't really have anything that would interest the Cavs enough to warrant moving love and are just low and or are low on assets in general 
And like this man had 21 rebounds in the finals and it's like nobody cared. So tell me down below, hit that like button, subscribe guys, and comment down below what your thoughts on why nobody wants Kevin Loves, but this is the reason I see it. So let me know down below what your thoughts is and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace out.